Ah, I have gaps in my teeth. And um, what do I do? Now, I, we, we get that on a regular basis. And <laughs> I still remember this one patient said to me, Oh, this gap is so big that I can drive a bus through it. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny what people say these days. And uh, it's quite true in some, to some degree because the tongue is such a sensitive organ that even the, uh, the smallest holes feels like the biggest of holes there. So I can see where she comes from, uh, where she's coming from. And, um, um, but you know, that's how annoying gaps can be, not just, uh, well, obviously the looks, but also your tongue's going to keep playing with it all the time and affect your, could potentially affect your day-to-day -day, uh, life and also, you know, your confidence levels because if you don't like the way it looks, you probably won't smile and, and, and studies have shown that when teeth don't, uh, when you don't smile, you don't portray as being confident and that could affect other things in life as well. Well, I guess the question, the, you know, coming back to the topic, what can I do to fix these gaps? How do I close those gaps? Now, I guess um, uh, before we start, you know, talking about all the options, so on, the general options and how to fix this, uh, this advice is obviously general in nature. Um, you know, it's hard to find out what works for you without having to see uh, what what's the pre-existing condition as it is because everyone is different you know everyone's needs are different and everyone's uh, ways of approaching it is different as well so going back to the topic now I normally like to say say this first you know it's yes it's 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 important to fix the problem but in my opinion it's more important to fix the cause why because if we're not fixing the cause, if we're just addressing the problem only, um, then, you know, as long as the cause is there, the problem's gonna keep happening over and over and over again. So you're gonna have this constantly coming back to fix the same issue over and over again, which could cost you time, obviously, because you have to make the drive here uh, or to your local professional, but also cost-wise as well. So it's important to figure out what the causes are. But I guess, um, you know, that, that's another topic altogether. But today, let's talk about how we're going to fix gaps. Now, there are generally two ways of fixing gaps. Um, one, restoratively or, you know, um, or to put it in layman's terms, putting things on. Or one, orthodontically, so moving teeth to close the gaps up. Now, uh, restoratively, you know, there are many ways to use, uh, many things we can use to close gaps and one being fillings, you can have veneers, you can have crowns um, to close the gaps, right? Just filling in the gaps and you'll close it up very, very nicely. Um, now, I suppose the good thing about uh, using this technique is, is that it's cheaper generally, it's quicker as well generally. Now, but the downside is, I suppose, is that it only addresses that one or two teeth at any given time any um, so it's very limited to how nice it could look so you may need to depending on how many gaps you have you may have to do it on every single tooth day uh, which then could add up to the costs as well now also we, we normally say say if you've got gaps everywhere else and um, and you're just trying to you know and we just you just want to close the two front teeth and if you do that you what happens is those two teeth might look big bigger than the other teeth so you might look might not yes the gaps will be closed but it may not look as nice as you like it to be uh, sometimes even passing off if, as, as looking uh, those, those two teeth looking a lot bigger than what it should be um, and in some cases depending on the materials as well we may have to drill quite a bit of your tooth off so you're losing tooth structure uh, as we are closing gaps at the same time so now the other option would be to move teeth orthodontically or move it bodily so just pretty much move the two teeth together uh, well how do we do that it goes without saying using braces or clear aligners uh, like Invisalign and whatnot that to close the gaps up um, at Tooth Heaven we use multiple brands, different brands to do it and, um, and there are many options ranging in terms of uh, from, from the cheapest to the most expensive and we'll go through every pros and cons of every single thing and let you decide whatever you want. But I suppose the, going back to moving the teeth bodily, um, the downside of moving teeth there is the time because it's going to take a lot longer because your teeth are going to move. Um, so it could take you months or sometimes you know, up to two years to move things around. Uh, and also, of course, the cost, although, as I mentioned earlier, depending on how many gaps you have, the cost might be a lot more restoratively 
and it might be almost the same as or even even uh, even cheaper orthodontically than restoratively. So depending on the materials and types and gaps and what the uh, what um, and what problems you have and what you want most to achieve, it may be cheaper or maybe uh, around the same cost. Um, but I guess the upside is is that you know of course when we're moving a teeth we're not just moving one or two teeth we're moving everything else so in other words you are fixing everything else at the same time uh, of course the side bonus is it looks nicer because you know it'll solve everything uh, you can chew better too because your teeth will start connecting a lot better um, and not hitting on weird angles and grinding it off too um, and you don't have to shave teeth off too you know not like the other option where you may have to shave some teeth off so I guess you know it's uh, there's, there's a lot of things to, to consider when it comes to uh, closing gaps and there's no one way or a hard fast rule on how to close gaps because if just like everyone is different every option is every every way of approaching every single person is different as well so um, how we work at Tooth Hammer as I mentioned earlier is uh, we, we don't like to tell people what to do we uh, I find that our role is purely just to advise you to point out what the to try to figure out what the causes are and try to come up with all the options that, that we can think of to fix it from the cheapest to the most expensive and then telling you the pros and cons of every single option and then letting you decide whatever you want and then we'll just support whatever you choose there so look I hope this video has been helpful in some way or form and uh, thank you for watching and until the next video thanks bye now hey there if what we just spoke about speaks to you or someone you might know of and you'd like to find out more we're more than happy to have a chat with you just by clicking on the links below you can also contact us directly on our phone number on the number listed on this side and if you don't already know about this we do accept online appointments as well and you can book yourself online from the from our own website now this video is just part of what we believe in the tooth heaven which is changing lives one tooth at a time until the next time we see you thank you for watching and take care bye now